we have noted gender oppositions in previous modules we have talked about conversational strategies and conversational styles adopted by men and women uh, we have said uh, men they are uh, competitive they are individualistic and women are cooperative and uh, they are other oriented they take uh, they take uh, uh, concern uh, they are considerate they think about others so these are oppositions and uh, one more is that women are more polite than men can we verify these oppositions from language data this is a scientific approach and all these things we uh, already have mentioned this that we never go for generalizations we always claim on the basis of data so language and gender is also a, a science with reference to its methodology because here everything is said on the basis of empirical data so if the statement says there are gender oppositions like uh, uh, they, uh, there is uh, opposition of uh, competitiveness and cooperativeness and there we say that men are less polite than women so whether there is some scientific truth in it does language data support it or not first we check the opposition in politeness that is our immediate concern in this module what is that before we check it out we first define politeness politeness is the relationship between how something is said and how something should be said this relationship is called politeness in terms of linguistics the should part of this definition refers to the addressee's expectations because addressee expects that this utterance should be uttered like this these expectations are called face needs or face wants when we say that uh, how something is said and how something should be said so actually we are talking about what addressee expects from the speaker now what does the addressee expect that is called face wants these expectations are called face needs what is face and what are face needs and then we will relate them with politeness and then politeness would be related with gender the addressee may like belongingness with others association connection with others he wants to be one of we he want to be a part of some in group for example he wants less uh, power he wants to be equal uh, he uh, he doesn't want distance and uh, he doesn't want any kind of uh, imposition so the addressee may like belongingness less power less distance it means closeness and uh, equal status and can impose or interfere it means that uh, he would never hesitate if he uh, asked for some favor from uh, the other person this is called imposition if these are the expectations these are the feelings of the addressee we say that he has positive face needs face means public self image of a person and we all have one physical face 
and the other is our self image that is also called face and we are very mindful of it we never want to uh, to be hurt uh, that nobody uh, should uh, challenge our faith in public self image in public face means public self image of someone in an interaction everyone wants that their face needs to be taken care of someone likes to be independent he doesn't want association affiliation so it means this person has negative face needs so first of all what is face public self image now face are of two type negative face that needs independence and distance and positive face that needs connection and closeness negative here means minus not uh, uh, this is not in the sense of something bad it is that you want to exclude a uh, someone you want to keep someone at a distance minus from you and positive in positive phase means that you want to add uh, that uh, you should be added uh, to some uh, group etc so this is the way these two mathematical terms positive and negative are used with face so in talk addresses have expectations from the speaker expectations are called face needs and face means self image and uh, this self image can be positive if you want association closeness it is called negative if you want distance and if you want independence if you want respect now having understood these terms now we relate them with politeness if in your talk with others you are careful that nobody's positive face should be hurt so then you are showing positive politeness and if you are mindful that nobody's negative face should be hurt so you are showing negative politeness so it is clearly uh, shown here that we are not defining politeness in terms of morality because we are using the term positive and negative with it with reference to positive and negative face so this concept this linguistic concept of politeness is totally different from cultural or moral concept of politeness see this dialogue excuse me mr fazan but can i talk to you for a minute so this is negative politeness how do you know this see the start excuse me you are not direct then mr fazan mr is uh, an address for honor and then you hesitate but and then you ask the question this is your request you took so uh, much time to come to your request this is negative politeness uh, you do this because fazan does not want to be close to you he demands respect from you this is negative politeness and his wants are negative face now if you say instead of that hey fazi got a minute so this style is absolutely different you are very direct instead of saying excuse me etc you say hey or hi and then uh, the name see fazi got a minute and got is used in very informal language this is not used in formal language so this is the uh, the feeling that you expect closeness with your address uh, with your speaker 
as addressee you want closeness and as speaker you also want closeness okay in both cases you want closeness and friendliness and association these feelings are your positive face and this uh, utterance shows that you are following positive politeness to promote your positive face Cultural politeness is, as I said uh, before this dialogue, uh, before these utterances, not dialogue, cultural politeness is actually negative politeness. If we see them in the light of this definition, not in our common definition, conventional definition of politeness, whenever we say that you should be polite, so according to this definition actually we demand that you should be respectful you should uh, not uh, be closer to those people who are higher in status like that and uh, our parents and teachers they teach us uh, this kind of politeness actually in linguistics this is known as negative politeness we when we are showing negative politeness we avoid offending the other person out of respect, out of reverence. And if ever we commit some kind of offense, we want to compensate it. We use compensatory expressions, etc. We offer sorry, we, uh, we apologize, etc. So apologize and some, some, something. If uh, uh, you have got something from a person of higher status, so you instantly offer thank you, thanks. And uh, during your talk, you repeatedly address the person as sir, madam. So this shows that you are keeping in mind negative face of the addressee and uh, he expects this of you and uh, you are showing negative politeness if you commit to that, if you don't want to hurt those feelings. So we conclude cultural politeness is fixed, rigid, it is based on morality and norms of the society, it demands distance and respect and linguistic politeness on the other side. This is flexible, it can be both positive, negative, and sometimes even it can be absent.